Well, welcome again to another broadcast, Down to Earth, but Heavenly Minded. And I'm your host, Irv Risch. And today I got a kind of an unusual story for you. And it's entitled, The Pumpkin That Caught Geese. Well, it's kind of a silly, silly story. But it's a true story, and it's kind of crazy, but... Uh, there's a good uh, moral behind it all, too. So, with that said, I'm just going to start our little story. The pumpkin that caught geese. Okay, fall had come, and a hunter stood looking at his garden. The only vegetables left in it were pumpkins. He looked up as some geese flew noisily overhead and landed in a marsh nearby. Well, his vegetables were good food but so were geese. He knew that if he succeeded in shooting one or two with his gun, uh, the others would be frightened away. Looking again at the pumpkins, he had another idea. Well, kind of a crazy idea, but he came up with it. He picked up a pumpkin and cut off the top and scooped out the seeds and he carved a face on the pumpkin. And he re, uh, replaced the top and carried it over to the marsh. Carefully, he set the pumpkin in the water and gave it a push towards the geese. The geese were afraid of it at first, but as the pumpkin laid peacefully in the water, they gradually overcame their fear. Well, the next day the hunter set another carved pumpkin floating in the marsh. Uh, you know, the geese were less afraid of this one. You know, each day the hunter set another pumpkin in the water, and by this time there were five. Uh, there were five there, and the geese were freely swimming among them. Well, the trap was set. The sixth morning, the hunter carefully chose a large pumpkin from the garden. <coughs> Excuse me. And this time he cut the bottom out of the pumpkin. After removing the seeds, he carved a face as usual and carried the pumpkin in a large bag with heavy stones in it to the marsh. Placing the pumpkin over the head over his head, he carefully waded into the water deeper and deeper till only the pumpkin showed above water. Then he waded. The geese soon swam near him, uh, swiftly among, you know, almost noises, noiselessly. The hunter grabbed it by the legs and pulled it under the water and into the, his bag. One after another, the unsuspected geese swam near him and disappeared. When his bag was full, the hunter wrapped, uh, waded out of the marsh, uh, happily looking forward to some goose dinner. Well, it seemed like a silly little story, but it worked. And the... Uh, the farmer, the hunter, uh, ended up with some geese. Well, this was a big death trap for the geese. They didn't understand what was going on. It was simple, wasn't it? The hunter used a trick to get his treat, and the geese were fatally fooled. Sometimes people are fooled, too. There are many things in life which look harmless enough and yet are fatal. We hear warnings about drugs and other harm, harmful things and forget the most common and most serious death trap of all, and it's called sin. Sin. Just like that, that farmer and his pumpkins trap those geese. Sin will trap us. The Word, God's Word, the Bible says, uh, fools make um, mock of sin. You know, we make a mockery of it. 
And we, we see this in Proverbs 14.9. It's supposed to be a book of wisdom, but it tells us all the foolish things we do. To them, sin may appear harmless, even humorous, like a, a quietly grinning pumpkin. But God warns us that the wages of sin is death. Romans 6.23 Sin, Satan, and hell are real just like the pumpkins, the hunter, and the bags were real. Well, whether you're laughing at the geese or felt sorry for them, think about yourself. Are you in danger? Is there sin in your life? God says all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 The good news is that God loves you. And he has done something about your danger. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. First Timothy 1.15 God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.16 Don't be caught by sin. Be saved. Don't be like those geese. Uh, just foolishly, uh, thinking that there was no danger, and they, and they ended up dying. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6.23. Just something to think about today. You know, as we look at, uh, at this story, and, uh, you know, we think, think about things like this, but we can relate them to ourselves. And God's word is that way. God's word is full of wisdom. Well, with that said, I'm going to end my podcast like I usually do. God is out here. And you can find him in your Bible. All you have to do is pick it up and read it. And you'll, you'll get words of wisdom from God's own heart. Just pick it up and read it. With that said, I'm going to end my podcast. Bye for now.